Okay, going to show you yet more proof that communism is in fact the result of atheism and Darwinian thought. Okay, just go and Google on Wikipedia, full screen, and search up anti-Christian sentiment in Europe, and you'll get some of this stuff down here. I've looked through some of this stuff, and a lot of this stuff is actually from communism, anti-religious stuff. So for those of you who say, oh, communism is not the result of atheism, yes it is, okay? Here's some proof on that. It mentions Adolf Hitler too, so Adolf Hitler was definitely not a Christian. But, first of all, let's go here. League of Militant Atheists. What is this? And this is really strong proof that, yes, the Soviet Union was the result of state-enforced radical atheism. League of Militant Atheists. The League of Militant Atheists, or also called Society of the Godless, as they call it, Union of the Godless, was an atheistic, anti-religious organization of workers that developed in Soviet Russia after the influence of the ideological and cultural views and policies of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. So this group, the League of Militant Atheists, they emerged as a result of the Communist Party. So don't tell me that communism is not the result of atheism. And their whole, their whole purpose was to basically fight against religion. Let's go down here. Atheist. What's this? Oh, again, another communist anti-religious magazine. Atheist, Russian, or spelt atheist, literally just called atheist, was an anti-religious monthly journal in the Russian, in Russian, which was published from 1922 to 1930, and you know, in the RSFSR uh, and the USSR. So it was an anti-religious atheistic magazine in the communist Soviet Union. And again, to all the atheists out there who want to say, oh, you know, Christianity, Christianity killed people. No, it was the Roman Catholic Church that killed people. But second of all, uh, what about atheism? I mean, it's not just the Soviet Union. Uh, what about Mao Zedong with, with uh, communist China? What about uh, Che Guevara, I think that's how you say his name, over in Cuba? Yes, atheism, radical atheism has killed people. What about North Korea? You know, zero religious freedom, zero freedom of speech. But, oh no, oh, no atheism is not tyrannical. Sure. And if you want, if you're saying, oh, there's no proof, well, they, first of all, they have all their references at the bottom, have all their notes, and a bunch of other stuff. Same here, they have all their notes, all their references, all this stuff. So, yeah, let's go some more more stuff down here. Uh, me, me, Mebur, again, not good at reading other languages. Mebura Dezodi, Dezoi, Atheistai, was an anti-religious magazine in the Georgian language. Let me go on that. So now you have another anti-religious communist magazine. So it was an anti-religious magazine in the Georgian language. It was a publication of the Central Soviet, or a publication of the Central Soviet of the League of Militant Atheists in the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic. So another anti-religious atheist magazine in the Soviet, in socialism, in, in communism, in the Soviet Union. And their pictures there is, is you know, breaking down churches, which of course, church buildings are pagan. I'm not for church buildings, but I mean, what do you do with this? Want to see some more proof? Uh, where is it? There was something down here I wanted to show you. Uh, where was it? I forgot where it was. Uh, oh, here it is. This is another one. Anti-religion in Nizik. Again, it's a Russian thing. I, I am from Russia, but I don't speak Russian, though. Uh, was a monthly scientific and methodological atheistic magazine in the Russia, in Russian the organ of the Central Council of the League of Militant Atheists. So another atheistic, communist, anti-religious magazine. Hmm? And again, sources are all at the bottom. All the notes and sources are all at the bottom. And then go down there. You know, you have this uh, this this Joker Varg Vaganis, whatever how you say his name. He's like this this neo-Nazi goon over in um, I think it's Norway or whatever, somewhere in Europe. Uh, he's he did all these church build burnings and whatever. He's I, I've seen some of this stuff. He's just a uh, gotten a life. Um, and he's actually proof that Nazism is also the result of, of atheism and paganism, but I can say a whole lot on that. Another one, another anti-religious magazine in, from atheism in the, com in the communist Soviet Union. And you know, like I mentioned, Adolf Hitler too, because again, Adolf Hitler was not a Christian. He was a uh, pagan. He was a, The thing about Nazism is that while communism is the result of uh, atheism, Nazism is actually the result of Roman Catholicism as well as Germanic paganism and occultism. So, 
you want to blame. So who? I mean, don't point. Okay, I'll put it this way: don't point the fingers at Christians for the Nazis. Uh, point the finger at the neo pagans and point the finger at the occultists, uh, because Nazism is the direct result of occultism, neo paganism, esotericism, all that stuff. So yeah, Christianity uh, is not in line with Nazism. I'll, I just had to put that out there. But the Soviet Union was atheist. No doubt about that. And I showed you all this proof. All these different magazines were all atheist, anti-religious magazines and groups. So don't be deceived when atheists say, oh, atheism is peace. No, it's not. Atheism kills people. Radical state-enforced atheism is a direct threat to freedom and liberty. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.